You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So this is a book from an author I have never heard of before. Her name is, um, oh, what was it? Hold on. Um, Heather Blanton. She's the author. Um, this is a book called A Lady in Defiance um, by Heather Blanton. And it is a romance in the Rockies series. It is supposed to be a Christian historical Western romance novel. A uh, novel set, anyway. Um, it has 283 pages, at least this book does, and 35 chapters. And it does have a Kindle edition. And here is what this one is about. Charles McIntyre owns everything and everyone in the lawless, godless, mining, mining town of Defiance. When three good Christian sisters from his beloved south show up stranded alone and offering to op up, open up a nice hotel, he is intrigued enough to let them stay, especially since he sees feisty middle sister Naomi as a possible conquest. But Naomi, angry with God for widowing her, wants no part in defiance or the saloon-owning, prostitute-keeping Mr. McIntyre. It would seem, however, that God has gone to elaborate lengths to bring them together. The question is, why? Does God really have a plan for each and every life? Written with gritty but not gratuitous realism uncharacteristic of historical fiction, uh, Lady in Defiance gives a nod to both pride and prejudice and redeeming love. Based on true events, it is also an ensemble piece that deftly weaves together the relationships of the three sisters and the rowdy residents of Defiance. And this is um, book one of that series. So, um, when I did, if you guys didn't see it, I posted a Facebook post on my Facebook page, which is The Book Reviewer. Um, I had made a post after reading uh, through about half of it, um, stating that maybe I didn't want to finish this book or finish the series um, because of some of the things that I was reading in this book. Um, it like I was saying, it's supposed to be a Christian Western romance type um, thing, weaving all of those threads into it. And I thought I thought about you know stopping the book because I I didn't think that some of the things that were in there were necessarily Christian because of the prostitution and things that were very, very worldly that would not happen to a Christian person were in there. Um, and I thought about it. Um, and I realized that halfway through the book, I probably should not stop because I found that I had gotten to know the characters that I had come to care probably a little too much about the characters and it was at a time where I was like okay I want to know what happens to these characters are these characters going to be okay are these going to be okay from the the lawless land of defiance or it's not a land, it's, it's a town. Um, but are these women going to be okay? And so I kept on reading and it does, um, 
weave some of the Christian morals into the story um, quite beautifully, in fact. Um, so that was why I was hesitant about um, even reading the books, um, even finishing the books, and even maybe abandoning the series. Um, but I decided to stick with it, and I'm actually glad I did because I was able to see it for what it was and recognizing that there is a plan, um, not necessarily for us, but for the, the book and how these characters come to realize that they don't have to live the lives they've led and that they could turn around and they could change. So I felt that that was a good lesson to be learned from that book. And, you know, whether you're four years old or 40 years old, you can make a change. Um, and I thought that that was a neat story. Um, the middle of the book, I wasn't necessarily a fan because, like I said, I had reservations about even finishing the book but I I'm glad I did because um, it was a nice touch to what all had been happening in the town of defiance and how things are turning around and I think I will continue this romance in the Rockies series um, it is a three book series and um, I have just finished book number one called A Lady in Defiance. Um, it does sound a little bit interesting because when you think of defiance, you think of being stubborn and you think of being, you know, um, stubborn as a mule and not wanting to do anything different and things like that. So, um... Would I recommend this book? Yes, I would. Um, especially if anybody is Christian. Um, it doesn't look like it would be a Christian book at first, but like I said, they do weave the Bible stories and things like that um, quite beautifully, actually. And it's pretty nice. Um, so, thank you guys for being patient. Um, I know I haven't done a lot of um, videoing on my certain days, but I'm getting better. Um, so um, let me know down in the comments. Have you read this book? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Have you ever heard of Heather Blanton? Um, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again soon. Um, keep an eye out for another video. You will, guys will get a bonus video because of yesterday. Alright, we'll see you soon. Bye!